my own. What? I've offered him. You 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 do it? No, 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 no. He's offered to do me I've at his offered, house. I, do, I literally yeah. fire it into my own face. Oh yeah. I don't I uh. It's so fun. I've done Val. I did Val at the house. Also, uh, Brazilian butt lift if you want. He's doing yeah, it. I'm yeah. not doing Brazilian butt lift. But I am uh, I'm gonna get the, I'm getting a dangerous procedure. Are we recording by the way? Uh, yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Hey! Okay. Hey, hey, everybody. Welcome to the Cheat Day Podcast. Today, we're joined by uh, fantastic comedian uh, Mark Norman. Oh, hey. Hi, and Mark. Mayron joining us as always. It sure is me, as always. Mayron, what good. are we eating today? What are we serving, Mark? Uh, the really, one? It's called yeah. pa- it's Pasta Reche Ooh. with lamb ragu. Oh. And fennel. oh. And fennel. It's, uh, I, I personally, it's my mic even happening. This I feel like we do this every week. Oh boy! Right, it, we were in a good place, and then somebody played with the nipples of this thing. It tweaked the nip. I don't know why we why this always has to purple nipple. All right. So, <laughs> Are we happy? Uh, yeah, we're approaching happy, mm, but it still a, feels like a head cold. Question. Why? Why did it was perfect a second ago? I swear to in the beginning when we first checked it, it was normal. He's a homophobic. I gotta slip some fucking There's, drugs into his food. Yeah. Since, this is since he got me, sober. It's, it's every week it's <laughs> insane. Yeah, Get well, this guy a drink. The issue I ran into is that we went louder right when we started recording than yeah. when we were checking it. So uh-huh. we, had to readjust it we got John Vogel as our tech hey, today. Vogel. Yes. And my God, yeah. not, not just a sound wizard, but also uh, like a, a Fortnite player with the, with the patience. Mm, of yeah. a saint. I get in school shooter vibe. Yeah! <laughs> so do you want to keep any of this or keep it? No, I mean, oh, we're going to keep... I, I, like, I, I hope every episode starts with me bitching yeah. about the levels <laughs> of these fucking mics. Because it's always... like It was so good. Now, much like a Texas baby, you got to keep it. Yeah! yeah. So, God bless you, Mark. Uh, See, that's the thing. And there's the record. <laughs> so uh, here, abortion yeah. joke. Abortion joke. <laughs> Three minutes in. Thank hey, God. Thank I'm God for slacking. That. <laughs> but that's the thing. We have Mark Normand with us, who is far and away one of the most sort of skilled, nimble uh, joke writers and comedians to oh, do our job. Hey, he just wow. is. Hey, uh, thanks. That's all I have. He is. It's th- there's a there's an uh, there's an acrobatics to it. Wow. There's, there's dexterity. He's keen. You know what I'll I mean? I'll take it. Thank you, yeah. sir. Don't you think? Yeah, he's quick. Yeah. He's quick. <laughs> Should see me in I bed. Do. Wow! All I right. would totally watch you do it. Um, oh, real? I'll send yeah, you a link. Of course I would. That's so sweet. Okay, that's so sweet. Um, and you're from New Orleans, which is a foodie town. You got that right. And my mom runs the Southern Beverage Food Museum, so I'm all Are you food. Kidding? She's a foodie cunt. Put it right up my ass. <laughs> What? Your mom runs a food museum? Yeah. And she's a hell of a cook. I've been eating gumbo, etouffee, shrimp creole, bisque, you name it. You don't look like a person who overindulges in food. Oh, all. I go hard. I eat ass. <laughs> <laughs> okay, wait a minute. So <laughs> I eat a lot. I overeat. Because eating ass is double dipping. <laughs> so, uh, now, <laughs> what, of course it is. Oh, I'm going to let of you handle co- the ass eating. That seems like your forte. As if you've never eaten ass. <laughs> Look at your face. No. Of Come course on. you have. not. Of course you have. No. Come I got on. a Bible under the bed. Can't what, do that. Is it, is it ass eating or is it monkey pox? Now, here's the thing. <laughs> <laughs> Could be both. You know what I mean? Is it, is it razor burn? Mm-hmm. Or, oh, you're, you're critiquing uh, my face. Thank you. <laughs> Uh, no, so. I don't think so. No, you're you. I'm not critiquing your face, you uh, angel. Flawless you face. Angel. No, you. I've told Ryan. I've told Ryan because um, I. We all. We were just talking about this. There's a lot of. There's a lot of chemistry that goes uh-huh. into this mug, and there's none in that one. Uh, which is shocking. That's a tight face. You got and tight skin. And but uh, no, I mean I'm older than him by. I'm older than you by what? Two years? Four years? Four years? Five I, years? I don't. I don't ask, man, Ron. I just assumed you were 29. That's, That's damn right, buddy. <laughs> That's he, damn he, right. He beats me if I don't say that. <laughs> yeah, I can I see am, that. I have, I have sharp reactions. But back to you. So you're saying you go hard in the paint with food? Oh yeah, overeating. You. What is your waist size? Oh wait, I'm just to be right clear there. here though. Yeah. I mean, I don't know if you've ever seen it at the Comedy Cellar, which is where we're recording. Yeah. yeah, they've been great sponsors of the show. Yeah, mm-hmm. uh, I've seen you eat other people's leftovers. Oh, we've, oh, we've yeah. always seen that. I'm always. obsessed with leftovers. There was no food in my house as a kid because my parents were workaholics. So I would, if there's food around, I go nuts. Okay, yeah, I want to know all about this shit. So were you kind of a latchkey kid? Was yeah, it like, yeah, for sure. They were out working. Yep. You were left to your own devices. They trusted that you wouldn't set the house on fire. Oh yeah, which I did once. <laughs> but uh, did you actually? I set the house on fire once. That's my boy. But we put it out once. I my brother stabbed me in a fight. 
That got ugly. <laughs> One time we got into a fist fight, and when we stopped, it was such a melee. The fridge was falling over, and the food went everywhere. It was it was wild. And then you just ate it off the floor. We ate it off the floor. <laughs> How old is the brother? <laughs> he's, older, he's two younger? years older. Two years older. Yeah, so we just left together. What, what does your family do? Uh, well, my mom runs a museum. My dad's in real estate. And he used to be an ambulance chaser when I was a kid. So that was weird. There were all these photos of a guy on a boat bleeding, you know, because that's who he was representing. Unreal. Yeah. One call, that's all. Rick so, Norman. But he was, okay, so he was... So is my dad. Dad's a lawyer. Ah. Ambulance chaser. There you go. Really? Yeah, yeah we're really? fast-talking family. Mm-hmm. That's interesting. That's mm-hmm. interesting. Do you think that, like, that that kind of... That's I hate to I hate to come in this way, but maybe a scuzziness. There's like a little sure, bit of scuzziness. Sure, a little slime right. on that. Hustlers. A little yeah. bit of yeah. hustling. Hustle, hustle, hustle. You gotta I'm find the cases. That. They don't come to you. Exactly. Sure enough. What and you think do you think that, that had an impact on Oh yeah, oh, oh yeah. yeah. I remember I got in trouble a few times with the law and my dad would go represent me and he knew everybody. We'd go to the courthouse and they're like, Hey Ricky, yo ho, high five, <laughs> one in the back, you know. <laughs> Fist pound, you knew all the cops. It was exciting. But you had to feed yourself. You, you yes. Th- this is uh, uh, real quick. The waist size. I just want to know. Thirty two. So suffer. Thirty two. You're thirty two. Come on. You're tiny. Like you're you're. I got a thirty two. Is a perfect. That's hips. a model waist. No. I got a weird. I wear my pants low. Birthing I hips. think. Yeah. Mm. I got a. I got a thick. That's hip. a model's waist. No, no. He's in great shape. I'm, yeah. I'm saying, but I mean, like he looks like he's more. Uh, um, he's even that tighter, he's even narrower. Yes. Yeah, mm. That he's even yeah tighter. I agree. <laughs> I what agree. am I going to say? He's tight as hell. He does. But that doesn't... <laughs> I'm taut. He's taut. You got to stay taut. Tight because as a drum. Here's the thing. If you gain weight, it's hard to lose it. So I try to just not gain it. You that's know that the that's key. that's scientifically true. The fat that doesn't right? go away. The fat can shrink, but it doesn't go Whoa. away. Whoa. Yeah. yeah. Tell that to once, Ralphie once May. Once you get cool. the fat, that's your fat. How yeah. about that? Wow. Rest in peace. You're a fat checker. Did he die? Yeah, he's dead. Oh, whoops. He did? He did? Ruffy, but how do you not know Ralphie uh, Mays? What did he die of? What did he die of? Fat. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah, just being fat. <laughs> Jeez. It's a Jeez. thing, no. folks. COVID. <laughs> Was it COVID? Did he die no, during no, COVID? No, he died pre-COVID. Did he have fat but... COVID? No, no. Okay. Just fat, fat. Fat, fat. Yeah. You know, listen, it's... It's not the healthiest thing in the world. I've my Patrice, weight. I, my yeah. weight has fluctuated probably like over the course of my life, 150 pounds. Wow. Yeah. Damn. Yeah, I've been, I've been like on meth, emaciated. Yeah. <laughs> I'd like to <laughs> Absolutely see that. on meth, emaciated. It was amazing. Yeah. Like just Q-tip. Like you know, um, like, a friend of mine uh, was. He he dated a girl who was like a beer a shot girl a beer oh, and shot girl yeah, from yeah. Florida and brought her back to Massachusetts and she brought back like illegal smuggled wildcats. What's that, a wildcat? Like a like a j- jaguar cheetah. Oh, oh, I thought it was a drug. Or like, something. No, like a wild cat that wow. they were too poor to feed. <laughs> and so it was just spraying everywhere, but it was emaciated and its what? eyes were bugging out Are of you its friends head. Friends with Joe Exotic. Ah! The key, now he lives in Key West and throws oh, weird comedy shows. Perfect. If anybody wants to play Key West, let me know. Oh, oh great. He's booking a comedy. Right? Of course he is. It's actually a club booker. Key West yeah, is where you go is. to live Doesn't out your, like your He feeds your the cats comedians. Life. But that's what it was like. I had like these like, you know, just giant eyes, very big head. Yeah. Like like it lollipop. Right, shape, right, right. That. That was you on meth. That was me on meth. Interesting. Yeah. Oh, he tells me all the time about his heyday in Miami. Sure. Oh, yeah. you must have cleaned up. Colorful time. Oh, I did. I was a bad. Th- you're absolutely right. Oh, man. I did. You Went probably had patient zero for monkeypox Blah! right here. It was a good time. Yeah. Monkeypox okay. gets him. <laughs> what is wrong with you people? <laughs> the what is 90s. Wrong? Was that the 90s? <laughs> uh, it was uh, 2000. It was, Those, it was the millennium itself. It was until pre- 2002. Every, no one was filming everything. Nope. You could really get ratchet and get nasty. It was I a mean, better time. I was I was bartending at this place called oh, the Liquor Lounge. Forget about it. Yeah. We we would out drink every patron in the bar. If anybody had a shot, we had a shot. Wow. As in we literally had as many shots as the bar doled out. Ooh. I actually met a girl earlier the other night, and she kept uh, every time she had a drink, she would mark her arm. And Who? Okay, a, a girl. I go, what are you doing? She goes, oh, I'm from Tampa, and sometimes I black out and forget how much I drank, so I have to mark it on my arm. Holy hell! I know. I was like, I love you. The other side is dicks. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. It's a little offensive. The Holocaust people, by the way. <laughs> Because of the dicks that they always yeah. that they painted on their uh, <laughs> Jewish German arms. Dicks. But now, <laughs> all right, took uh, a turn. 
brother Violet's mom food museum was, and she ran a food museum when you were a kid. No, that's new. That okay. was like a retirement thing, but it's successful and fun, and it's her passion. You know, finally she's she's a she's a come alive as a lady. I love her so much. Yeah, but uh, when I was a kid, she was a teacher. A teacher. Yeah. Teacher, lawyer, Mm -hmm. latchkey kid, feeding yourself. And this is true. Mark Norman does, in fact, have a... I was like, one of the first things I learned about you, like, eight or nine years ago... Was that you would you'd eat other you'd clear plates? If I love left it. A plate behind, but not you would e- eat yeah, the not food. even like people no, he knows, no. just whatever. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Patrons, whatever. If Random you just saw food, you would go and eat it. I have to eat it. I feel the same way, but I, I'm too. I'm, I, I think as a fat person, I would be too ashamed <laughs> to do that. Does that make any sense? Sure. But you know, I can't let it go to waste, and I I made a couple of smart moves where I would I learned how to get food off plates. I take a bar rag, put it in my pocket, and I go up to people and go, "You need me to clear some of this up." And no one would ever question you. No one goes, you work here? So I got like a plate of wings or fries or uh, half a steak. It worked every single time, 100%. And you would do this? At restaurants all over, like at comedy clubs, restaurants, bars. Did this live in a stunting, funny place in your head or in a food acquisition place? It was food acquisition. If I got the food, I lit up like a pinball. Woo, I got three wings. It was exciting. And I do do it with booze, too, because booze was so expensive growing up. It was of hard course. to come by that, uh, you know, I was the drink the half a glass of wine up, cigarette butt, you know, finish the Bud Light, get that gin and tonic. I mean, I was shit in blood in my whole 20s. <laughs> so was Mayron. Different yeah. reason. Different reason. Absolutely. No, mine was uh, So, and you also trauma. have a, a podcast called We Might Be Drunk, so do you want to... Yeah, yeah, so me and I feel like you know you're sober now. You're sober. He's not fucking no, sober. No, no, you're I not? just told you I was with a girl who's marking destroyed. drinks on her arm. Yeah, oh, no. what, good do you, point. Good what do you point. think I was doing? <laughs> if we all went quiet, we could hear his liver. <laughs> <laughs> Are you I hide it. Very resilient. I hide it. I just don't. I don't. You hide it well. You clean shaven. You're that's buttoned the, up. That's what I'm saying, though. Like yeah. he has no chemicals in his face. You I'm, won't. You won't see me holding a drink. You won't. Uh, yeah. Unreal. You do hide well. You're very mysterious. He's one of them. He's white. Hey. He's he's white white. So am I. No, no, no. Well, what do you mean? New Orleans white, white is different than white. Oh, okay. Why didn't you become a lawyer? Ah, it's a lot of work. The bar. It's the suit every day. We're basically lawyers, but we get to drink. That's the same and, thing. There's a strong comparison between uh, comedians and attorneys. Completely. Yeah. Geraldo, uh, Dimitri Martin, Natterman, Natterman, Natterman. How about that guy's your lawyer? Come on, sir, your honor. Why are you wearing a robe? Mm. I don't feel good about this. <laughs> your chances don't look good. Yeah. Um, so doesn't look good. Well, you see. Now, you, okay. So you're you're just a scavenger. Yeah. Right. But then, why are you why are you lean and healthy? Why why are you? My my accounts? theory is I don't think he buys his own food. I think whatever he finds. And that's that's how he to made, this day he's a successful comedian. I, I know by he's all successful, accounts. but he still eats off other people's plates. Yeah, and I think and he just doesn't day, like to pay for food. In. It's in the wiring. My fridge is bone dry. There's nothing in there. But I mean, old I'm that turnip. way with cocaine. Just, uh, oh, really? <laughs> you that's don't buy it. I buy it. I buy it. I, I, toward the end, I bought it. But <laughs> but in the beginning, for years, yeah. all my twenties and thirties, I never bought it. Well, here's the problem. I, people go grocery shopping. Normal people, they fill their fridge up for the week or two weeks, whatever. If I do that, I'll eat it all that day. I'll just go shop. And eat it, so it doesn't make sense. You think you have like a bingey? I got a binge problem, yeah, really? for sure. There's no you like walking down the street. I feel like you know we're going to point at people who we think have a binging problem. Do you point at Mark Norman? No, never, never, never. Well, much like your booze, I hide it. That's heroic. Oh yeah, that's heroic. But when this food comes out, you're gonna see me. I'm gonna go all in, face that's down. It, that's, that's how I knew we were gonna get you. When I was yeah. like, you, you can't refuse free food. Can't. You just can't. can't. It was my aunt's funeral today. Like I skipped it. Right. That's, <laughs> awesome. That's absolutely wonderful. But yeah, I'm excited. This is weird to me. It's weird to me, to, like, because again, like, fatty weight fluctuating my entire life. Lean, maybe I should just become a scavenger. Yeah, it works. It works totally. How about, how about exercise? I want to know. About yeah. this. I want. I want to know your life. Well, I'm a little ashamed. I used to go to the gym twice a week pre-pandemic, but then my gym closed and it totally fucked up my whole routine. But now I do 80 push-ups every morning. I don't eat breakfast. I do 50 squats and I do pull-ups on scaffolding like a psycho. Dude. <laughs> yeah. It's got the old man workout. I got this a prison is workout. Unreal. And you, like the scaffolding in your neighborhood. Yeah, or wherever I run the spots. Uh, I'm in New York Comedy Club. I'll hit it real quick, and then uh, I'll go do my set. How have I never seen him do this? I hide all it. All the years, because you're stealthy. Yeah, but people make fun. People drive by and go, nice job, pussy. 
whatever. <laughs> you know, it's very uh, vulnerable. You know, you're hanging there. That is incredibly vulnerable. It's, it's I would objectify you. Anytime I see someone exercising in public, I feel like that gives me like license to act as though it's I've I've bought a ticket. Bring it on. <laughs> I'll take it. Fans run like notice you do. I have. That's I have. What I'm yeah, that's cause, really bad. Because. Open micers love you, and they're running the same routes in the same. Oh, dude! Well, a lot of people love him. It's not go. just open micers. No, 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 <laughs> no, no, but like they, they, they take him by him. <laughs> yeah, I, I taught stand up at MIT. Like entirely, really? I was gonna get, I was gonna get like evicted. I had no money, <laughs> and somebody offered me this job very early when I was doing stand up, and I was like, I, I can get evicted, or I can say yes to this job. I like went and like bowed at the feet of everyone in Boston comedy. Uh-huh. It was like, I want you to understand that I know the optics on this are fucked right, up, but right. I will get evicted. <laughs> so, so I did, so I did this thing, and I ended up teaching it for seven years. And every year they, wow. they say Mark Norman. Every no. year they would say Mark Norman. Get I mean, I haven't here. done it in eight years or that long yeah. ago. Yeah, I am blown away. Yeah, because that wasn't any any well, recognition. Well, no. I mean, the, but the jump he's taken in like, the last year is the is, last year. Yeah. So you did the Long Beach Room, the Beach House, and there was like, it, it was fine. It yeah. wasn't, and you were on a showcase, and then you went back this year and sold out two. No problem. Yeah, well, no thanks. problem. Yeah, no problem. I think the pandemic helped. Podcasts all went up. You know, you do a couple other things. Seinfeld shouted me out. Uh, Netflix. I remember whatever. when Seinfeld shouted. Yeah. yeah. So I had a couple. I had a run of good shit. What are the highlights? What are like the big booms for you? Like, what okay. were the ones that where you were like, okay, all right. So uh, doing the Tonight Show a bunch. Seinfeld saw it. <clears throat> he said, "Who's this guy?" I bump into him at Gotham. We hang out for like two hours, shoot the shit. He gives me his number. Then that's insane. That's insane. Yeah, insane. I grew up watching this guy with my parents, you know. Yeah, and uh, that's the only thing I cared about. You know, I'm like, hey, I'm in at the cellar. I'm doing Conan. They're like, who? What? But then I go Seinfeld. They go, oh, we know about him. Uh-huh. So that was nice. <laughs> uh, that the culture reached them. Uh, that's real. Then that's I started real. opening for him. Then I did Rogan. Then I put out a special on YouTube, which was when that was still kind of weird and new, mm. and that popped. Mm. And it was pandemic, so people needed content. It was free. It was on YouTube. Who's this guy? And then those three things really <laughs> lifted me, I think. That's amazing. Thank also, you. Bert. Bert. Yeah. You were on, yeah, you were on tour with him. Yeah, tour with Bert. Yeah, yeah. So I did a lot of crazy shit. Yeah, well, there's also, like, I, every once in a while, I'll see on YouTube, people will make, like, compilations of you on different podcasts. Yeah, yeah, for, that's like, true. For, like, 20, 30, 40 minutes. And, and I, like, I ripped that and put it on my YouTube. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. No, no, no. They do that now. Like, I've seen, oh, yeah. like, the total, it's, like, YouTube people who are like, uh, someone should make a sizzle reel of yeah. like, just me saying this. And then someone will. Someone will absolutely oblige. Yes, and the Instagram clips and the clip, all those clips, the TikToks, it all helps. That is, it's heroic. It's, it's a nightmare, but it helps. Well, you're still grinding. That's what I'm impressed by. You know, I mean, you have a level of success, but you're still out here every night doing the jokes, doing the clips, doing all this well, other now stuff. now it's a different paranoia because when you're not making it, you're like, how do I, what am I going to do? How do I break? I can't figure it out. Ah. And then when you get somewhere, you're like, how do I keep it? How do I hold on to this? And then eventually you lose it. And you're like, how do I get it back? So I'm that's aware such, that's, that it's... That's just normal in general. I think that's human in general. You know what I mean? Like, you... Like, uh, for me, it might even just be as easy as, like, being likable to a group of people. Like, it might be a social thing. It's like, oh, sure. I, you know what? I'm not going to give a fuck. It's okay. I'm just going to go in there, be myself. Not a big deal. And then everyone likes you, and then you feel, I feel, like, beholden yes, to that. Yes, yes. Right? As in, now I have to keep everyone. Yeah, like, that's I don't hard. just go back to not giving a fuck. Right. It's now Which is I, what they like, yeah, ironically. You, keep, you stay nice to everyone. Yeah. Isn't that weird? It is. It's a mind fuck. But I got to start enjoying. We got to sit here and enjoy. We live in New York City. The sun is shining. You got a great How? skin. <laughs> you're, you're sober. You got a full head of hair, buttoned up. You're, you're hiding your alcoholism. You know, it's ha, ha, he really, You have a podcast <laughs> called We Might Be Drunk. I'm not hiding it, though. Sponsored by a booze company. You got that right. And we're making our own whiskey. Oh, yeah. When's it coming and out? And you're making your own whiskey. <laughs> called Bodega Cat. It comes out in one week online. It that tastes so fantastic. That is so smart to call it Are, are you going to send a bottle here to the Chite Show? We will bring a bottle, and the seller's going to sell it. The stand's going to sell it. Are you it. shitting me? Oh, yeah. That's Everybody's great. You've got di- distribution and everything. It's Hell super yeah. Sterosis selling sandwiches. These guys are selling whiskey. <laughs> what? What? Ron what? White, Kevin Hart. Uh, all these guys are doing booze now. Yeah. So. I mean, it's, it's happy returns. Exactly. You know, you know what yeah. I mean? You can make swell. Well, I mean, food, a food's hard. <laughs> Have, do, you, do you know about the Shivas Regal effect? No. It is, uh, it is a uh, phenomenon in marketing where uh, you are selling a, a known subpar product 
with, in very fancy sort of packaging. Uh-huh. And Shivas Regal comes in this like gilded chrome, uh, ornate, filigreed Shivas Regal. And my father, who was like just Iranian, was Iranian trash, thank God he's dead. But he, he like, he would look at him and be like, Shivas Regal. Right, right. And whatever, it was like 60, 70 bucks for swill. Like Whoa. absolute swill brown liquor. And but so it's called the Shabbos Regal. Sounds like it I'm is, that, but a person. <laughs> just, but now clean it up, ju- clean it up. Yeah. Don't now worry you, about what's inside. You don't even need the chrome box anymore. Now it's like you know that it is Kevin Hart approved. That it yes. is, you know what I mean. That Kardashian it's got, RuPaul has yes. made you this, you know, fizzy, you know, uh, truly knockoff. Right. Off. Well, we're we're doing that in politics now. You know, it's like get the Rock to run. You're like yeah. the guy has no fucking political experience. Shut right. up with the Rock. Yeah, we need it. Our country's in shambles. The flights are canceled. <laughs> Monkeypox. The gas prices. It's Greta true. Thunberg, what is he going to do? Exactly. What is the Rock going to? Have? He looks I know. good on camera, and I think that's important. But does he though? He's kind of like a, a tree stump. You know what I mean? He is like a. He's do you know what I mean? Like the the mug isn't. Do you know what I mean? Mm. You don't he's think he's a handsome? Dashing. Oh, really? I mean, I'd fi- of course I want. I want to, the 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 way I want to die is under the rock. I hope you understand <laughs> that. I want Dwayne Johnson to literally smother me. Rock in a hard then, place. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Do you see? Do you see? This is what I mean. What I want. <laughs> <laughs> this is when I when I think about people who love this craft. Yeah. I don't love this craft. Really? I enjoy this craft. Right, I play within this craft. I enjoy the medium of this craft. Right. I think you really and truly love the tools of this craft. I, I really do. Do I you really know what do. I mean? Yeah. But do you love the new stuff, the podcasting, the clips? Ah. No, no, I hate it, but I get it. But I think you just got to play ball. You know, that's just how the world works. You got to, you know, the guy with the horse and buggy is going, fuck these cars, get out of here. But you got to start making cars. Real. So, yeah. How many podcasts do you have? Two? Three. Three. I have me, me and Sam, yes. me and Joe List, and I have my own that I do alone, and that ain't easy. Just by yourself. Yeah, because the people like keep the saying. Bill Burrish. Yeah, they're like, fuck these guys. We like you. What about you? And I'm like, well, they're my friends. Like, I know, but we don't want to hear about those queefs. So I do my own now, and uh, it's not doing great, but it's a start. But uh, that's the whole thing. Everything is a start. It. Right. Like, how, how long it's were you? All over the road. Boom. All over the road. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, how long were you like? You've been doing stand up for 16 years. 16 years, right? The and Epstein like, years. The Epstein years, that's right, on the Lolita Express. Yeah, 16 was primo. What, uh, that, you know what? This is fun. What's the grossest gig you've ever done? Oh, jeez. <laughs> God Almighty! <laughs> what are you? Do you not know? Can you not trace it? So I'm, I'm, many. I know. Like you just say yes to everything. Yeah. I mean, I I hosted a lot of wacky burlesque for many years, and I've had like dicks on my shoulder mid set. Whoa! Oh yeah. There's a really great picture of like a full on dick and nuts. Like, what? You know, like it's it's in the spotlight. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, like it's so framed, and then and mammoth, just uh, really. Oh, absolutely. White, black. I was gonna say it's nice it, that it him and Will like could work together. It was like a mixed race. He was Whoa. like six five. Wow. Do you know what I mean? Oh yeah. And it was. Sounds white. like you already met the Rock. The phone was white. <laughs> <laughs> He's got to have a honker. He's half black, half Samoan. That's got to be a goddamn piano My leg. Bad piano leg. <laughs> piano leg. <laughs> you know I love it. DePaul oh, I know you do. Joke this about, is... uh, his wife pulled out a black dildo. He's like, I thought you pulled out a pepper shaker. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great joke. But yeah, I love the craft, you know? And no one else, it feels like no one else appreciates it. All these uh, guys are doing Netflix specials, and they're like, ah, I threw this together. Fuck you. What, where are you from? I'll talk slower. And you're like, come on, it's a special. Oh, no, I mean, like, we're, I'm seeing comedians now that, like, they don't know about the microphone at all. Uh, like, they don't know. They don't, they don't want to be comedians. They don't know. They, right. do, no one wants to go on the road. Nobody. All, no one. They don't, oh, they, don't, they don't want to be openers. They don't want to be middles. They just want to be a headliner in New York. They don't want to go on the road. Right. Yeah, Must be nice. that's that's what they what sure. they want to be TikTok stars and yeah, but, they want it easy. The, it, there's there's some degree of success. In, oh, do I hear plates? Oh, glasses. Boy. Oh, glasses. oh, Chef Raff. The fuck is going on? Glasses. Hey, guys. hey. hey. Chef Raff. This is Chef Raff. Hey, Chef. Yeah, well, whenever right. you're ready, bud. Nice to meet you. Excited wow. for the for the grub. You. I love uh, it. I love being touched. Are you guys by watching Raff. the bear? I bared. What do you think? It was pretty good. It, it bummed me out. To me, it. 
it had a real Mr. Jones and me energy uh, that ran throughout the yeah. Mr. Jones. Yo, it man. just bummed me out, mm. like from the beginning, like because I could sing Mr. Jones and me over any scene and it felt <laughs> seamless, <laughs> right. and that's a problem. Good for Boy, me. That's a problem. That's an interesting review. Do you know what I? Mean? And yeah. also, like you know, like the. Uh, the the sort of like Latinx uh, the prep cook. She, yeah, I'm not wearing that apron. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's like I bet you. Yeah, yeah. No, in a real I, kitchen. Oh god. I feel, no, I feel like eventually she's gonna put on that apron. Yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> She'll crack. <laughs> and spirits are gonna yeah. be lifted, <laughs> and she, and the team is gonna come together. Like the the you perfect knowledge of that garbage, as it's like the Chekhov's gun right. of, of flaccid emotionality. Just, it, I can't. I cannot participate <laughs> in it without uh, without losing years of life. I hear you. Yeah. But it's a, it's shot well. I'll say that the well, show sure. it's beautifully shot, and they get some great foody stuff. So I mean, for, from my friends, uh, the, the guy who started the podcast with me, Carl Ruiz, uh, he always said you got to be insane to own a restaurant because your inventory is dying. It's yeah, literally dying from like it's easier to open a bar because that you can keep that stuff forever. Uh, mm. I thought about that. And bar is where a lot of restaurants make their money. Oh, it's, it's the only point. place to make money. Yeah, that's yeah. why they sell food so yeah. you'll drink more. Is that, that right? Yeah, if you yeah. don't eat, you're gonna have three that. drinks. Just if you make eat something, cool you're gonna have bar. seven. Just well, get get a that's cool. That's what DeRosa bar. did. He's got a bar that sells uh, sandwiches. Yeah, you're right. And he's doing pretty good, uh, I think. Is he? Better than comedy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I love Joe. You wonderful man. Uh, you wonderful man. Joey man. Roses will not stand for that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, if you think I wouldn't sell out for something, do you know what I mean? Sure, like, sure. No. But isn't it not? You talk about crab. Isn't it nice when you go to a restaurant and there's that queef in the back with the bag of jizz and he's putting it on that fish and he cares about it and there's a dollop of green, you know, period blood or sure, whatever it is? Sure, 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 it's sure. It's exciting. Yeah, like sturgeon. Yeah. Endometrial wall. Yeah, there's that foam yes. on there, whatever that is. Yes. They care. It's Absolutely. Nice they care. It's the same with a movie or Isn't, a comic. Yeah. Then Mark how, comes around with his little rag and is like, are you done with that? <laughs> <laughs> you got that right. Does anyone, do we eat the fetus of anything? Oh. Uh, don't eat, we eat duck fetus. We eat duck fetus. Oh, okay. Eggs. Of course, yeah, eggs. 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 Caviar. And here we are. I hope every Republican in America is ovo-free. <laughs> I'm on record. I hope they're eggless. Right. Eggless. That makes sense. They can't have it scrambled, that's you for can't. sure. Yeah. See, we thought food wouldn't be political. <laughs> that's, we thought political this would now. be easy. Just no food. Yeah, no. Everything's political. <laughs> Everything is political. I'm so sick of politics. It's a horrible thing. It's a horrible thing. So do you, now that you have a bigger lens on you, do you feel compelled that you have to speak on shit? Like, do people nag you in your... I try to just stay with the silliness of it. Like, Biden's sure old, Trump's, uh, you know, the hair, uh, you know, Marjorie Taylor Greene, Jewish space laser. I try to keep it <laughs> the surface level goofy shit. Okay. Because I don't go into, like, policy and we got to change uh -huh. this and prop whatever. Right. That's too much. No, he knows what he's doing. I don't think people want to hear that either. Yeah, no, that that and that I think that is love of the craft of comedy. I think that there's some the the commitment to not taking it to a place that feels like really and truly angry. He right. keeps it within the frame of the joke. And politics is just so talked about now that maybe go the other way, you mm -hmm. know, and that keeps you a little fresh. Mm. Well, and also your audience needs to have knowledge about what you're talking about right. and they don't. Yeah, exactly. So you're just going to lose them. Like, I've gotten shit for being, like, stereotype jokes, and I'm like, well, I only do it because we all know them. I need the whole room to get it, you know? You're, oh, but that's the thing. I think no matter what you do, you're, there's, like, the, the sort of the Twitter sphere, the Tweedo sphere, is, is one where you, there, is no, there is nothing left that is inscrutable. Of course. Right? Like, every angle has some way into it that can be... Uh, sort of put on the pillory. Oh, yeah. Do you no know what I mean? It. Like, there's, you can't, please. Well, all right. So, when you enter into a comedy club, there's some sort of subconscious agreement you're making that I, everything in, in here is, is a joke. Yes, mm. supposedly. But then when you put it on Twitter, you're, uh, you're giving it to someone that did not make that agreement. Oh, that's real. And then they that's see the this point. and they're like, oh, what and is this? It's written. When it's written, it's like in stone. Oh, you God, know? yeah. It's almost that's like good point. more of a fact. Written is more of a problem. Whereas yeah, you can absolutely. Say inflection and sarcasm. Yeah. And I remember that. on, uh, look right here. It's, it's yeah. time stamped on May 11th exactly. of 2017. They used, to, uh, right. they used to say that about Big J. You could read his act on paper and you'd be like, this is X rated. But then you watch him perform it, you're like, he's not that dirty. That's like, true. He's sure, just, sure, he was sure, so sure. Uh, likable and engaging right. with the audience mm. that you never felt like anything he was doing was over the line. Mm. Yeah, so true. I mean, there's so many comics that have attitude. Cat Williams can say something. 
suddenly you're like, that was funny, but if he says it, you'd kill yourself. Well, he also gets arrested for it. Which, <laughs> uh, that's true. <laughs> Without a microphone, it's just... <laughs> right, right. <laughs> so, I don't know. This is... The... Well, all right, so you got things going on in your life. Yeah, I'm busy. But yeah, busy's yeah. good. What's your, what's your relationship status? <gasps> well, luckily, uh, she's uh, one of these gals who likes uh, a driven douche. You know, so sure, she's sure, turned sure. on by that, which is great for me because I don't have to see anybody. You know, uh, I think doing the road is a, a, a relationship saver mm. because you see each other twice a week and it's always exciting, it's always fresh, it's always new. There's none of that like, didn't we talk about this already? You told that story last night. I want to. Oh right, you. the doldrum. Yeah, there's the a, doldrum. there is an, a, a friend of mine. Uh, Good this word. Was, this is a right. A crazy thing that uh, that she said to me was that uh, a, a couple is as likely to succeed or make it as they have rooms in the home to hide from one another. Uh, that like you absolutely need, the, and which in New York is next to impossible oh because if you God. like a three bedroom. Like, how's your two mil? Yep. You know what I mean? Not everybody has two million that, like, they yeah. throw the three We lived so in a hide. studio during the pandemic. Fuck! I'm talking <laughs> nine to five day job with her on a laptop going, yeah, I get it. Talking to her boss. I'm doing squats behind her. Like a <laughs> Tiny 400 square foot apartment. And we made it work. And that's how I knew, like, all right, we can we can make it. And then you relocated together, yeah? Yes, exactly. So how long has this charade been going on? <laughs> <laughs> five, six years. Five, yeah. six years. She's, she's got to cash in before she can leave. Oh, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah I got yeah. a prenup. Oh, yeah. did you actually? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Are, uh, wait, is there so a wedding you, imminent? Oh, we're getting married. That's yeah, why yeah. I said, what's your, I didn't want to. Yeah. I was waiting for you to say Oh, yeah. <laughs> I was right. like, what's that's, your relationship status? There. Well, she lets me uh, do comedy. <laughs> oh, sweet. Romantic. You're engaged, Ode. Yeah. yeah. Can you believe it? That's really, no, that's lovely. Of course I can believe it. I Listen. had a hell of a run. <laughs> so. Yeah, I get it. I, I, I didn't. Ah, do you know what I mean? I, Miami, my for ass. me, a lot of it. My that's literally yeah. what, that. That's the that's how I remember it. Miami, my ass. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like a musical. Miami, my Miami, ass. my ass. Oh wait, yes. Oh my god. Are you fucking kidding? I Pasta reche with that's lamb right. ragu and fa- can you smell that? Definitely vegan. All right. That was hey, that man. wasn't in reference to the food. That was in reference to something oh, I did. <laughs> Are you insane? That looks incredible. Are you insane? I'm trying to be. Wow. This is something, You're huh? insane. It looks great. It smells Come on. Great. That, is a, that is a custom it. meal for you, sir. Daddy-o. Don't, don't stand on ceremony. Jump in. Wait a minute. Okay, so but while, while before Raph gets here, let's just hear a little bit, because I know that Ryan talks to you and find, tries to find out what it is that you want to eat. That's your yeah. naughty food. What is your cheat day food? What, what did you want? Well, I said I wanted lamb, because yeah. I knew you were a pro. Yeah. And I figured that you don't really get a lot of lamb in your diet. Sure enough. So, and I can't afford it, really. Or it's a little <laughs> pricey, I should say. You, you just don't want to pay for I don't want to pay for you, lamb. You know damn well you can afford things. That's true. Uh-huh. But, uh, hey, free lamb. Oh, Come on. lovely. And a glass of white wine, I think, right? Yeah. Oh, Sorry. Maybe. On. It's all right, hookers. Right? I had a I had a diet sun kiss. <laughs> oh. I'm kidding. I had, a, I had my like third Trenta coffee. Um, <laughs> all right. So what the fuck did yeah, you talk, make, Go ahead, Raph. Yeah, tell us what this yeah, is, man. So I have my business partner and chef partner and also life partner, Owen uh, Lakwila. It's right here. Come on. Um, I'm going to let him take the reins. Mm. And you can take that mic out and actually hold it if you take want. Take that mic out. Yeah. Just hold it to your, your Gentlemen, fate. welcome to my show now. Yeah. Uh, hey, now. We got the Casa Reche, uh, yeah. house made, it means, Casa. in Italian. Uh, it was handmade for a long time, and then mm. we do extruded. But gotcha. for you guys, I use my hands. Wow, uh, thank you. We got the lamb inside. We have a fennel, pepper, leek, sofrito, oh, rather than off. just a regular sofrito. Chives, parsley, breadcrumbs. What the fuck? And then, you know, just to make you guys even fatter than you are, uh, just a little <laughs> Iberico, wow. Iberico you lardo. You say this is like a 2% body fat. Uh, fucking yeah, yeah, no, how dare yeah. you? Hey, man, uh, oh it's an God. optical illusion. I'm just a fat guy in a fun house. No. Nah. <laughs> you <laughs> identify as fat. The chefs don't I eat their own food. Oh. It's crazy. What's crunching in my mouth? A little breadcrumb. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, breadcrumbs. I mean, don't Fucking ask Why? Well, well, here's to you guys. Just do a quick... Uh, no, yeah. Mm. yeah. So, Bottles off. Cheers. Raise a glass. Yeah, no, we uh, uh, unfortunately got back from Vegas this morning. We also have to work tonight. So don't, oh, don't, don't want to just don't worry about it. 5 a.m. Yeah, well, yeah. Can't, sure, sure, sure. can't do what it. What the fuck? But yeah, thank you either way. Oh, there's it's a little heat. Yeah, thank you. It's a pleasure to be on this podcast. What, uh, what was Wow, Vegas? you killed what it today. Really, really great oh, job. A uh, little business, a little pleasure, and that's what the story that we're going to stick to. You know? <laughs> yeah, it stays there. 
what I hear. But there's heat in this. Am I crazy? Yeah, it's a little bit of a chili flake that Dad. is kind of scattered all around. Dad. Um, but yeah, Vegas. Dad. Oddly it's, enough, it's so good you're having flashbacks. <laughs> very, very, very quality city, which I did not, like I just did not expect that. We had yeah. really good meals. Um, we were treated very nicely. Obviously, paid it forward. Yeah. But you know, wow, that is really good. I yeah, want, I want this inside me. Thank you, sir. <laughs> I, I know that sounds like a random, like gay, hacky thing to say, but I mean, that's what eating is. It really, I'm putting it in me. It is in me. But I mean, what's even crazier is like, and this was a great dish for him to make because when we ask most comics what they want, they're like chicken fingers. Uh, <laughs> like it just, they dude, never. Every fucking time it's fried chicken. Really? How many ways can I make fried chicken? Every How many black time. people you having on here? Uh, oh my God. Uh, <laughs> this is wild though. Why is she creamy? What's so unctuous about this? Uh, we made a charred fennel puree, which yeah. we put in, yeah. folded that bitch in at the very oh my end. God. And Mayron, it's always been my goal to be inside of you. I'm glad that we, Dude, you don't, that we finally you don't got there. You don't even have to ask. Oh. So, <laughs> and by the way, it, like, and I because I looked at his Instagram, so I got a better idea of how to present it to the comedian. Mm -hmm. Of like, instead of just saying what do you like, they can't answer. If you give them some options or some some direction, they can kind of figure Is it out. Is that true? Right? Yeah. Would That's you have had bad. a hard time with that? Yeah, because there's so many food options. It's hard to pull one out of thin air. Now, if you found this, would it oh, taste my better? Oh God! If yes. you if you just discovered it. Yeah. If do you, you, did you hear about this? I got a <laughs> I'm saying he's known, right? Mark is known for clearing. He used to go to restaurants and stuff and pretend he was a busser and take people's half finished food and That's eat it. Move. Isn't oh, it a baller move? Well, there, there was no food in my house growing up. It's a whole mental thing. So, did, you, did you wear the uniform? Did you wear like a black shirt or just a regular t shirt? You don't even have to. Yeah. Maybe I'll go up wearing this and I go, confidence. can I clear this off your, your table? And they go, sure. You were wearing confidence. Yeah. <laughs> You're looking at him like that's gross and amazing. Is it a little? Is it gross in your eyes? We've all been in these sticky situations, and uh, you know, we've all fucked up. That's that's, <laughs> that's the genius way to not to not have to pay for food. But do you so. do you find found food tastes better than? Uh, yeah, for sure. <laughs> It's they, just called foraging in Brooklyn. The yeah. Foraging. <laughs> forage. Do you, also, do you also filter the people that you take food from? If, like, no. Do you, yeah, do you size inclusive. them up? Yeah, say for example, someone just gross as fuck. Do you not want that food? Or wow! Or would, you, you, would, you take, would you take Ralphie Mae's leftovers? <laughs> well, there wouldn't be any. Ah! But, uh, but yeah, I never really thought about that. No, I, maybe it's a hobo or something. I wouldn't take it. But uh, anybody here? That, the maybe the not idea you. of him, yeah. him like, <laughs> tiptoeing up to a sleeping homeless, yeah. and just taking his food is. You ever get sick? Wow! No, I got an immune system like a motherfucker. Well, you would have to. Oh yeah, <laughs> I built it up over the years. I've had AIDS twice. So no, no. <laughs> so we did a gig in Jersey together, like peak COVID, and uh, we had a, we had to share a car. And I think you had just gotten over COVID or, or something like that. I do know the other comedians were not thrilled about being in the car with you. Oh, I heard about that. Yeah. <laughs> Everything was so scary back right. then, right? Yeah. How many times did you catch COVID? I've had three. Three? I'm two. I'm wicked jealous. How'd you get the third? When'd you get the third? Well, the new strain came out. Yeah. I had it two weeks ago. What? There's a, oh, you're on number five. Yeah, you're on number yeah. five. Yeah. You got the new drop. Got the new drop, yeah. <laughs> I like him. I like Owen. Oh, yeah, he's I good. like Owen. You guys really have to put your mouth on it. Okay. Um, <laughs> Not the first time you, you said to that today. <laughs> yeah, hot couple. You guys you both need this? to put your mouth on it. I got, yeah, I got it. Oh, you got some. All right. So that's the thing about pasta and like homemade pasta. Mm. Like as soon as it's in your mouth, all of a sudden, way more sexual thoughts are coming. To My God. Oh, yeah. That's actually what Raph texted me. He's like, I'm making sexual pasta. Oh. And I was like, oh, that's good. all that we do. I saw it in the pan and it, it looked sexy in the pan. Like just when the vegetables were breaking down in the oil, when they were course, just yeah. sort of like simmering. My I mean, God. rather than go to, to therapy, this is what I do. It it's so much like... better than therapy. How long does it take to make something like this? <laughs> uh, so like the dough takes about half an hour to make and then you Whoa. just let it rest mm -hmm. and then the like rolling out of the noodle mm -hmm. maybe another 30 40 minutes yeah. wow yeah. yeah there's I mean, love in it can, there's uh, like elbow grease and love do definitely. you know what i mean yeah we can absolutely be honest here we uh took a fucking red eye last night we got home about 8 30 we both went home to shower we got home at 9 30 yeah this we both went home to shower kind of blacked out we were tired and then we both woke up at like 11 called each other very familiar feeling to not be in a good spot with food, but we, yeah. made, it. we made it again. Hell yeah. yeah. It's yeah. so I mean, weird. Pros. Do you know what I mean? They, you know, by yeah. the way, they don't tell me any of this. I yeah. just go, hey, you going to be there on Wednesday? Like, no prom. Yeah, and I'm like, yeah, pros. by the way, we're <laughs> in not, Vegas. We were, yeah, we were in Los Angeles probably one 
Uh, yeah. We were in Los Angeles when we uh, talked to you probably last. That is correct. We uh, we went there to cook for a very famous influencer. Mm. I mean, whatever. His, his name is David Dobrik. He's a very sweet man. Oh, actually. he's big. Yeah, we did not expect that. I don't um, know. What does he do? You've, you've seen him. Yeah, it, it was fucking nuts, But right? is it funny? So we had about a week and a half notice. <laughs> um, we all we, we flew out the entire team. It was about 10 people. Um, and then we ended up, him and I... Fucking making house made or making fucking cavatelli in the Airbnb. Wow! The entire night, wanting to kill ourselves multiple times, mm. uh, but it went very well. Which we don't we don't usually say that. You know we uh, like to be hard on ourselves. Also hard on me. Uh, no, I love it. But yeah, we uh, we had a good time. Rough. And every single person there was an absolute asshole, except for David Dobrik. He wow. was amazing. Ah. Um, and that's it. And we went to Vegas and. Wanted to do a lot of work, ended up having a good time. So. Yeah, you earned it. Well, plug, plug your Instagram so they can see your work. I yeah. mean, I've been to your yeah. Instagram. It's amazing. Yeah, so it's at Chef Raph NYC. And How we are we also spelling Raph? R-A-P-H. Mm-hmm. The best way, obviously. Um, and we also have, what is it? Something good. Something good dot NYC. Yeah, so that is the hospitality group that we have started together. So, like, let, Mark, let's say you got a date night. These guys can come over and cook for you and your fiance. Okay. Whoa. So that's, that's what it brilliant. is. It's, but you it's would like have a to private. pay for it. So yeah. would you do, would you do that? I would for... eat off her plate. <laughs> so Mark, you can follow them when they go to someone else's date night. Ah, oh, there you go. <laughs> you can you clear the plates. <laughs> you need a oh, buzzer. Shit. There we go. <laughs> I'm in. Also, and then also Owen has his own personal Instagram. Uh, yeah, at uh, Owen Lacula. And uh, you have to spell that, Hooker. L A Q U I L A. Just uh, translates Lachwilla. to the eagle. The eagle, yeah. yeah, yeah. Laquila. Rising from the shadow. Uh, ashes? Rising yeah, from, from the ashes. ashes. From the shadows. <laughs> yeah. That's weird because your name in college was Spread Eagle. It's your last. <laughs> it's your last. I've, taken, yeah. I've taken over the mantle. Yeah, so starfish. Can we, can we just take a moment to look at the fact that, that uh, Mark ate two pounds of pasta in about a minute and a half? <laughs> oh, man, so good. I haven't eaten today. Right, I'm just going to... Don't put that near me. Don't put that near me. I'm just saying. I'm just... I, I wanted to. I wanted somewhere to put my elbow. Yeah, man, it's a cheat day. Whoa! Yeah. Oh my oh, god! Wait a minute, sure? Two plates of pasta. I gotta see this. Serious? Bust the table, if Mark. You, Come on. If you finish this plate, I don't know what I'll do. What should ah. I do? I mean, buy I mean you want to blow him. Just, buy- <laughs> just no, do it I anyways. Mean, I'm 46, dude. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> What's that mean? Did you huh? age out? It, what means like, it means like I want to play with it, but I like by the t- like I, I can't promise to make everyone come. No, you could get me. Yeah? Are you quick? I love oh, you so can quick. Get me. So quick. All right. Well, then, great. Yeah. All right. It's a bread. It's a, it's a, it's a date. You know, get out of come free <laughs> card. You can, yeah. I didn't say I'll, that Monopoly. Go so, no, straight to just, jail. There, I've, yeah. Like, different bites are giving me different flavors. Just for shits and giggles, tell me yeah, what yeah, I'm yeah. That was, uh, we, we definitely like to play with, like, textures and flavors and, you know, making sure that not every bite is the same. Because, mm-hmm. you know, if, if, if your palate gets bored, then, you know, you don't want to eat that shit anymore, mm. so... Oh really? You know, we we certainly take it very seriously, but cannot forget that it is dinner. Mm. So don't be a pretentious asshole and put nonsense in every plate. Mm, mm. Here, here. So what am I eating? So you have uh, the fennel sofrito, which I like to do with pastas, especially if I'm on. The fuck like, is sofrito? So like I just uh, slow cook, or you can quick cook it like vegetables, small mm-hmm. dice, mm-hmm. and then you cook it in oil, mm-hmm. and then all the oil gets into the vegetable and preserves it. Mm-hmm. So it's really mm-hmm. great to be able to do it in large batches if you're at home. Yeah. And then you can just easily have like a really nice pan sauce for anything that you make like right away. So uh-huh. instead of doing a regular mirepoix, which is carrots, celery, and onion, we did uh, leek, fennel, and pepper, which kind of just gives a little more floral like nature to we the love it uh, because mm-hmm. the dish is so heavy with the lamb the butter the cream with the with the fennel puree mm-hmm. so it really just brightens it up and then like raf said with all the different textures if everything is the same level of saltiness and sweetness across the board you're just not even going to taste salty or sweet it's just going to be plain it's kind of like if you like mix all the colors of the crayons together you're just going to get brown but right. if you like, mix and match as you do then you get like uh, an actual special. It is amazing. Yeah. It feels and, like I'm rich. And I mean, there's it layers be, uh, to the food. <laughs> if there's layers to the food, it like, like it's I'm like, rich. why is there layers? Then you're on a journey, man. Yeah, and then it would not be a uh, cheat day meal without fucking you with an ingredient that is going to ruin your day. Yeah. Um, we we put in just straight up pork fat. Uh, it is. <laughs> it's called lardo. It's cured cured in beautiful <laughs> herbs. Um, Behind. Just put it, in as it feels much a little as possible. Mean <laughs> to call it yeah, lardo. Um, yeah. I don't think you're going to be able to function after two bowls of that. But oh, boy. I don't know, man. Well, I'm Muslim. So I'd like, I'd like, <laughs> very, very I thought you were Muslim. Kevin Hart, man. <laughs> 
Dave, Dave Chappelle. Oh, the, these guys are fans. Well, oh, no. Oh. To, I've been Kevin Hart, of course. You sure you, you don't want a, a, some, some of this? I saw we you were, looking for it. We were devouring. Okay, okay, okay. okay. They made really it. I really wanted to take some off Miron's plate. That was good. <laughs> you want some? Just, just off Come the plate. You better. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. You beautiful. Now we're all eating after people. Pose. Pose. Mm-hmm. Mayron, you want to feed Mark? I feel like that's something Why? you'd like. Why? Yeah, I'll feed Yo, Mark. That's, I'll that's, feed that's everybody. Good. It is really good. Wait, yeah. do you, how, I want to see. How do you like your bites, Mark? Uh, Are you pause, a big bite man? A zucchini piece in there or squash, yeah. whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here it is. Here it is. Ah, um. <laughs> Yay! This honestly, like, why isn't every day like this? Mm. Why aren't we just people hanging out around to feeding each other like delicious bites, mm. eating, listening to people who love food, mm. make food that they, you know what I mean? I and mean, I believe that was the documentary Eyes Wide Shut. Sure, <laughs> yes, that's absolutely right. That's absolutely right. Why aren't I wearing a cloak yeah, 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 yeah. and getting rammed on an altar <laughs> every day? Oh, every day. Every day. <laughs> Why is it Nicole Kidman? It's your own fault. You said you were hungry. Now you get, on, we, yeah. cater, we cater for the Illuminati. Ooh. Well, have you, what, have you are, ever done anything like that? I mean, I mean, we're actually getting kind of close now. That's always been the goal. And uh, we cooked for... Famous influencers, listen. If you're in, if you're in the Illuminati, we gave you our Instagram tag. Feel free to reach out. Yeah, uh, e- do it. Equal opportunity chef. So if you, you know. if you cater to sex party, would you jump in? Hundred uh, percent. No, no, ah! absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely jump the gun on that answer, Mom. What kind wow. of food? We're just going to play. What, what, what would the menu be, though, at a yeah. sex party? Oh, I hate. Um, let me tell you something. I've seen swingers documentaries, and when they start talking about food, I want to kill myself. When they're like, yeah, there's like wings and molten chocolate cake. It's like, what the fuck are you Plato's doing? Retreat. This fuck, who does that? Well, Plato's wings, Retreat. Man. They had food? <laughs> uh, so they Because they, they're all old now. They interviewed some old Jewish guy, and he was like, um, eh, I don't know. They did crazy stuff, but the buffet. <laughs> the buffet was so good. You couldn't beat it. What is he eating That's like? going to be me. Like fucking tuna fish sandwiches and shit like that. Boots. Strip clubs have buffets too. <laughs> oh, dude. Naked City. Chicken yeah. wings. Naked at a City and Queens club? had a buffet. Strip club, fine. The a uh, buffet. Like a, a fuck. A buffet. Fest. Yeah. I mean, lemon pepper hot wings at a strip club. Seafood. Seafood Aren't buffet. <laughs> oh my god, seafood at a strip club. Right. Ooh, well, right. they do that. Like, uh, is uh, Robert's Steakhouse still open? I'm not That's sure. the steakhouse. I think it was on top of a Penthouse Executive Club, and they did that so that the people that spent money there they could just get the Robert's Steakhouse receipt. Yeah, I know. There's and there's then you a, can put it on your no. corporate. Yeah, you put it on your corporate yeah, there's card. There's a place in Jersey that you spent five grand at Robert's Steakhouse. Yes, I did. Uh, I was smart. I was entertaining oh. clients. I can't That's with so this smart. world's loopholes. It's mm-hmm. great. Yeah, Amazing. my dildo company is called Yankee Candle. <laughs> <laughs> He's so good at it. Isn't uh, he so good at it? This is good. You guys are good. This is uh, amazing. Thank you. Thank you. This is unreal. Only podcast that feeds you. Uh, right? You got that right. Nice. Was that an Trademark. actual burpish? Oh, yeah. Was that actual? That's the worst footage. I think you're getting my shoulder half the time. Please. <laughs> no, he's so telegenic. That's the worst thing about him. He looks very good on camera. It's frustrating to me. Oh, Ryan? You. Oh. oh. No, God, not oh. Ryan. We have, we have more than one camera. Don't worry about it. Oh, okay. I was going to say. <laughs> Guys shooting the Zapruder film over here. Meat, meat, mm. gre- meat grease. We have, a, we have a camera in the pasta. No. <laughs> <laughs> this is actually a surprise colonoscopy. Oh, man. Casa Reche. Yeah. Homemade. Yeah, homemade, yeah. Casa Reche. Well, well, like if you got this at a restaurant, what would it cost? Do you know? Do you guys put price oh, on food? Man. Probably thirty-five to forty-two. Whoa! A plate like this. Th- do you know what I? I you get the bill on the way out, buddy. Oh, you spend thirty-five dollars no. and you get like a sort of like semi-dry piece of fish with some wilted greens. It's like, <laughs> you know what? I, if I spent thirty-five bucks and I left there with like a million flavors in my mouth and lamb and fat and fucking carbs, I feel great. I mean, oh, I would hire these guys in a second. That would, if you wanted to impress someone, that would be amazing. Like if you if you had a, a girl or a guy, Mayron, uh, and you want to impress them, you know I'm by. I mean, girls Just are kidding. a I'm not. <laughs> I'm kidding. No. Oh, girls love a private chef. No. Oh, yeah. I, yeah. I will throw a towel at a vagina. I will. <laughs> we actually both got into it to meet women, and then we just unfortunately fell in love with Then you're just other. surrounded oh. by men. Oh, so yeah. Each other? Come on. I'm... A- I'm not embarrassed, yeah. Here, here. You really have to... I'm, I'm not so kidding. sorry. Please, there it is. Please don't punish me. Yeah, no, I'm just... There you go. <laughs> there you go. I'm not... that. I swear, it looks like innuendo, and I understand that this hand has held a lot of microphones, so to speak. Uh-huh. But, like, I am just trying well, to direct the well, sound. Thank you. Really. You have to direct the sound right in. You go right in there. That's... Yep. It's the only part of our job that's technical. Literally the only part. Smiling <laughs> at people to put things yeah. in their mouth. Yeah. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. 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 Mark, do you go out to eat in the city or no? Oh, yeah. 
A lot, actually. Really? I, got, I got the lady, you know, I got to take okay. her, wine her and dine her. Are you on Where do you like? Mm-hmm. Every weekend. Yeah. On the road. Wow. Yeah. What does that do to, like, like your eating habits, your sleep habits? Like Horrible. Yeah. I sleep horrible. I'm on sleeping pills, uh, and I eat Panda Express too much. And I, don't, really? I try to eat somewhat healthy, but it's hard. It's just Panera Bread is the healthy you option. No, it's true. Like, no, my, my partner just, he had yeah. to do, yeah. he had a contract in Nebraska, and the only thing he, they, the only restaurant where he was was a Domino's. Like, it was the only restaurant. Oh. Uh, <laughs> That's all uh, he could eat, you know? I mean, we both eat horrible food. Mm. Really? Fast food, first meal is at like 10 p.m., third meal is at 4 a.m. Whoa. So, it's brutal. It's what, do you, brutal. What, what is your go-to? Fast food. Uh, Favorite. I mean, outside of like dude. bodegas? Like, yeah, I'm talking like Taco like, Bell, uh, KFC, McDonald's, ooh. Wendy's, Arby's, you know. I just feel like the West Coast for fast food is so much better. So much better. In and out. Yeah, I mean, you got In and Out, you got like Raising Cane's. Chicken, shout out. Yeah, dude, we actually went there. We are still recovering with our. Mm. With your what? With the downstairs of our uh, bodies. The bee okay. hole. All right. You know, in and out's a Christian owned. No, Is that it right? Isn't. Look on the bottom of the no, cup. There's Bible Chick-fil-A. verses on the bottom of the cup. No. Yeah, Chick fil A also. Balls. I know Whataburger is in Texas is another one, that, but they're fucking. And the they're, donut game in Los Angeles. Oh, oh really? Yeah. Oh but I mean, like, I don't, I don't boutique donut. Who's eating? Just give me a no, goddamn like, donut. Like that's the cool thing about Los Angeles. It's very Americana, and mm-hmm. like they're very forward. They're very forward with like how. I don't want to say basic, but like just straightforward American donut, straight up glaze. That's all you I respect get. that. In and out, like. I went to some bullshit, coffee, like, um, I was stuck uh, when I did Union Hall, and I, like, went, uh, like, in and around, like, Nevin Street, yep. like, around there in Brooklyn. And there was some, like, uh, frou-frou, faggoty, uh, Brooklyn donuttery. Ah. That, like, I mean, we love those places. Too. Did, I, I was so bummed out. It was just, like, just give me a good glaze. Yeah, oh, that, glaze. that place on, uh, what is it, 14th and 6th? Donut right by, Pub? Yeah, donut, that place donut, is fucking donut, awesome. Oh, wait. Yeah. The Donut Project as well. Right. Oh, yeah. That place is great. But, like, that place, you go to you go to Coppelia, you fuck up majorly, and, yeah. then, and then right after, you're like, oh, I can't eat anything. Let's get two donuts. Yeah. It's a counter, old yeah. school. Yeah. It's very 50s. Right, right. It's great. It's great. Yeah. Good what, times. What, what's a, like, would you get a normal or would you get a frou-frou? Be honest. I'm just going to eat two glazed donuts in about 45 seconds. That's my boy. And then cry myself to sleep and then, and then continue to cook throughout the night with this fucking asshole. You two yeah. are so in love right where, now. Where Did you, you take ecstasy? Uh, <laughs> nah, man. Chill out. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so we have our kitchen in Soho. We were just there. It's 30 Van Dam Street. Um, it's, it's actually great that you just asked. We are starting to sell late night food mm, because late right. night food in New York is fucking horrible. It is. Yeah. Can't so, find it anymore. Dude, you can't, can't find it you anymore. Can't. You can't. So we're just trying to feed feed the friends, also make some money. So Thursday, Friday, Saturday, we're gonna be open from ten PM to five AM. No way. Um, we are gonna take we are gonna give you a blood alcohol level and drug test before you order it. <laughs> Cannot order it if you're sober. Absolutely not. <laughs> um, but yeah, so we're just trying to fix the horrible problem that people like us at this table can't get food. Give the night. name and the address again. So Again, uh, it's probably going to be named something good. That's the name of a hospitality group. We're still kind of working on it, even though we're open opening like this week. Um, I mean, you know, we are chefs. We're not a fucking PR company. So it's 30 Van Dam Street. Uh, we're going to be open on a bunch of platforms. Best way to find us is at Chef Raff NYC on the, on the Instagram, somethinggood.nyc, right? On the Instagram as well. And, yeah, man, we're, we're going to be slaying some really dope late night food. All Mark right. and Mark, what are you doing? What? Like, what's the next thing that people, you know, can oh. sniff around you? That's a good question. Just building material, working on a new hour, might have a taping early next year, can't divulge. What do you want? Huh? What do you want? The, the, business, the business comes to you and says whatever wow. you want. They're going to open the treasure chest. They're gonna, oh. The candy store's open. Paints what do you want? nothing. Yeah. Sitcom. Uh, That's movie. a good question. What do you want? It feels like sitcoms are dying. TVs. I did Fallon last week, and it felt very archaic. I was like, "What are we doing here? This is so we could have shot this on an show iPhone." A show. Yeah, it's it was no good. So uh, hold on. Are you kidding? I think. Uh, <laughs> are you kidding? Um, 
That's no, his, that's that, that was not a no, joke. No, 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 that was real. I spat on you. And, oh, and you're good. Uh, 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 yeah. uh, Mark just farted, and Mayron got a hard on from it. That, I just want to sell come tickets. On. <laughs> so, like, do you do you like sit in your hotel room alone to write Farting? most of your uh, like uh, comedy, or like like with this podcast stuff? Like, we love like consuming all you guys' content and stuff. Oh, and, hey, thanks. And like from the podcast standpoint, it's it's like so. I really love the off the top of the head kind of content yes. from comedians where they're more relaxed and more with their friends and like they have that like down the rabbit hole stuff where things are hitting things are not hitting and then they bring it back it's like yeah it's fun to be mm. like a part of do you like take like content from that a lot or is it specifically just by yourself that's a good question i mean i do so many podcasts that it, it kills your writing time right we used to just have to do writing that was all we had to do and now i have so many pods and sometimes you say something funny and you're like i'll write that that's, down that's really good yeah and bring it back to the set but uh but I feel like it's almost like set in stone already because you've put it out into the world. Nah. So it's a, no, nah, no, no, no. Nah. It's that's open, gone. open season. I got a that's follow-up not, question. People used to feel that way. Just like yeah. you, it was like, burning oh, material. That, you yeah, call it yeah. burning yeah. material, yeah. Yeah. and that's that's not a thing anymore. Yeah, no. bring it really? Back. Yeah. yeah. Just use that dead body again. Yeah. Uh, do you think doing this amount of podcasts is is hurting your comedy? Not just with the writing, but if you look at there are some comedians that do too many podcasts, and then they get on stage, and you're like, this guy's just rattling and filling time. He's yeah, not- yeah. Ah, and they have fans there, and they can just talk, and the fans like it. Yeah, so yeah, sure. yeah, yeah. Oh god, a podcast. Uh, yeah, yeah. I've, I've been on those the shows. Fans might like, even want that. They would yeah, prefer it the to fans that want that. But like, yeah. when, but then when they get in an environment where they're doing a comedy show, yeah. and they're just so exposed to the podcast audiences, like they're throwing out their catchphrases, and then they're just filling airtime, and they're bombing because no one has any idea what they're doing. Mm. You have to be able to make strangers laugh. That's part of this business. I don't care what anybody says. Yes, a thousand percent. So, you know, you can have your podcast people and do your catchphrases and all that shit, and they'll all cheer. But when you go to Cleveland, they don't know who the fuck you are. You got to you gotta bring the heat. Even, yeah, but yeah, even yeah. if you're famous, and that's why Seinfeld goes to Gotham. That's not his right. audience, but he's showing up. That's exactly. why Gaffigan goes. That's why these guys show up to audiences that aren't theirs. Yes, here, here. Specifically the Cleveland Morning Show. <laughs> Still yeah. remember that question. That was the highlight of my life. Yeah. What happened then? Just shit, shits and giggles. Give me, hard, give me the 10 bit. seconds. <laughs> so I do these, uh, you know, you, you do the road. Sure. And before pandemic, you had to do... Susie in the Promo. morning and late or uh, morning coffee with dickless bitch or whatever, you know? <laughs> dickless bitch. Or WMFE, Cincinnati, <laughs> whatever it is. Then you got to promote your, your show because you're not selling any tickets. And so it was like a slew of them one day in Cleveland. I had to do good morning anal, good I queef, love so queef, much. queef coffee, whatever. I love him so much. So then by the eighth one, I'm hungover. I'm on two hours of sleep. I'm like, I've had enough and I just, I'm not playing ball anymore. I'm just myself. And it went really interesting and awkward, and it went viral. That one went viral. I've done all these Conans, Fallons, Colbert, nobody cared. That went viral, and I sold out that weekend. Neat. That, 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 that clip was amazing. And hey, it's thanks. Fact, like, what happens? Know. Well, like... Welcome back here to New Day Cleveland. We need comedian Mark Norman in our lives. So welcome here into the, in the studio. It's good to have you hey, here. Hey, good to be here. It's, uh, it's a pleasure. I'm a little hungover, a little gay, but uh, just <laughs> glad to be here with you, sister. Well, I appreciate you saying that. I'm very happy to be here with you, too. All right. I, I, Sorry, no. just hiding my erection. I, I, but, uh, yeah, no, I, this is great. I know you just left Slimans. Yeah, I had Slimans, so I'm really going to be on the toilet later. But, uh, boy, best corned beef in, in the Midwest, if you ask me. Good grub there. Whew, still yeah, hurting. Yeah, I bet you are. I yeah, I've been farting it up in the green room, and uh, I think I scared and That's the... why the door was the shut yeah. to our little smaller green room. Exactly. You were yeah, just trying yeah. to be polite. Um, we call it hot boxing. <laughs> really soaking it all in, because the smell of your own farts, for some reason, is enjoyable. If you farted, it'd be weird. But if I fart, I enjoy it. I don't know why. Is that a guy thing? Maybe. Because I feel like I w- you'd hear a guy. No woman would ever say something like that. No. no. You guys are more of a, maybe a queefing. Oh, my gosh. But, okay. Uh, well, is, that, is that clean? T- t- That's no, a technical well, we're 10 a.m. TV. I mean, you know. Uh, oh, sorry. 10 a.m. <laughs> you know, you've up, you had your coffee, <laughs> your, your meth, or who knows what. So, uh, yeah. We're all adults here. <laughs> So you live, you live in New York City now, but you're from New Orleans. Yeah, wow, well done. You read and my grinder bio. I, I, <laughs> Again, like he said, like not playing by their rules, playing by his own rules, uh-huh. and it's just so much fun to see people who are so buttoned up get yeah. very uncomfortable. Oh, and, yeah. and they don't know what to do. 
and mm-hmm. you just love to see that because, like, in your own life, you want to see your boss uncomfortable. I mean, he's, you for see whatever it's right. Right. Up, like, the, I, I have nothing to. Do you know what I mean? Like, I I'm not especially ambitious in this job. I married well. I talk about this all the time, but the. Like, so I'm not snowing him. I'm not waxing his canoe when I say this, but this kid is a fucking surgeon. Oh, jeez. <laughs> you know what I mean yeah, when uh, it comes to... I really do. I think you're incredibly good at this. Oh, uh, thanks. Well, that, this was not anything to write home about. It was just awkward. You know, it was like a Michael Scott moment. She was like a Katie Couric type lady. And um, she's like, so what do you do? I'm like, ah, queef. And you ever you smell your own queef? Cre- I did. She wanted to laugh. You said queef? Yeah. Yeah. On Cleveland Public so Television? Bad. Exactly. At eight in the morning, yeah. You dropped a queef and they didn't know to censor it? They couldn't, and the crew was going, <laughs> and that kept me going. It, is queef censorable? Would one censor queef? I think it's a medical queef? term. I think it was like... It, it, it is, I promise you, there will not. you're not going to go into an ER and be like, you know, look at someone's chart, and it's like excessive yeah. queef. At eight in the morning? At eight in the morning. It's a lot. It's a lot. Yeah. Someone was eating breakfast, in. and they're like, what? They kept it in. <laughs> wow. Wait, they, no, that's they actually aired that? Oh, yeah. yeah. That's what that's I'm saying. Yeah, that's why. Why do you think Owen's like, his eyes are shining? Look at him. Wow. Well. such a great question. Thank you, man. Thank you. It helped. My Credit girlfriend you, didn't man. like it. That's that's amazing. Why? Really? Wait, was it in reference to her? No, I was. <laughs> I was getting pretty chummy with the uh, the lady. Yeah. Oh, really? did you grab her tip? What happened? No, no. I was just, I was you know flirting. I was like, oh well, you know, I have a boner right now, and she's like, Jesus. You Christ. did not say you had a boner on I said eight I'm a.m. Hard. Cleveland. To- oh, I'm yeah. a little hard. Yeah. Did you just recently move in with I a lovely a, lady? I bought a place. I got. A la- I moved in with a lady and Alexa. Uh, oh, oh Alexa's one. your lady. Oh, yeah, yeah. oh. <laughs> yeah, she's, uh, she keeps track of everything, and she gets mad when I talk to Siri. Oh. Uh, but, yeah, yeah. Um, bought my place. I own a piece of the rock in Manhattan. It's the only thing my parents have been proud of that I've done. I've done The Tonight Show, Conan, Colbert, Comedy Central, but when I bought my apartment, that's when they actually started answering my phone calls. <laughs> but, hey, that's why I'm a comedian, because yeah. uh, i got to get love somewhere. <laughs> Oops, sorry, is that a me too? <laughs> All right. I can handle it. I can handle it. So, but for you, big, I mean, you're young. So Black. getting into this business Black and... Don't crack. But getting into this business and... Um, <laughs> I'm 35, 35, not that young. But, uh, you know, not on the Viagra yet. Or am I? Who knows? I like to snort it. Oh, well, kicks in quicker. Oh boy, we. I think that's my cue to just wrap oh, this up. Oh, is that it? Yeah. Uh, I mean, you're you're also a comic, exactly. You know, like a politician. What the At fuck eight is That's what I'm saying. Yeah. So I love it. I mean, if I saw that, I mean, I'll send God. you the link. I love. Oh, it. we're gonna include sure. it in the episode. Oh, I feel great. like you can't. Yeah, yeah. Of course, yeah. you can't. You can't talk about it this much and not. Perfect. Have it in there. And we're uh, still friends to this day. That lady's she has Bobby Lee on, she has Segura on, she oh, knows what cool. she's doing. Was, yeah. Was that like the first time like so like comedians do that now? Is like go on and be awkward yeah. on television? Were you like first or like Bill Burr kind of like disrupts probably, a lot? Probably Bill Burr, Burt Kreischer. Yeah, yeah like, that's true. You don't know what's gonna work. You're shooting out jokes. Sometimes sure. the jokes they don't like them. Oh, and yeah. Then, and then they get really mad. That's oh, yeah. most of the time. Yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah, she was cool. This lady deserves all the credit. I forgot her name. But uh, she was a pro. She was played the straight person and nailed it. That's and I got to be cool. the goofball. It's very cool. You ever she been banned from TV? <gasps> Any TV? <gasps> I uh, fucked up in Portland, Oregon so bad that they stopped doing comedians on the news. Oh, we oh, love this. Yeah, what? so I, I helped okay. everybody. So let's hear it. What, I made yeah, a, a Holocaust say. joke. Oh, uh, good boy. Nice. They were doing a cooking segment <laughs> before me, of course. And I said something, something, oven, Holocaust. Oh, and they were like... <laughs> no, you know yeah. Ro- Roseanne got fucked for that. She she did a thing where she dressed as Hitler and pulled little oh, gingerbread men out of an oh oven. That was a classic. Oh, yeah. yeah, I mean it's it's not in great taste, but I mean <laughs> but that isn't the job. Right. The job isn't like go exactly. out there and model good taste for people. <laughs> yes. I mean, I mean, you know how what I mean? can how can you get offended by a comic? Like that's ah, legitimately well. what you do. I'm sure it happens all the time. Well, Preach but the choir. It's it, yeah. I mean there's some degree to which like it has to be probing and you have to like you you can throw a big pass and it doesn't get caught. Like that's that doesn't mean that you just like you only run the ball from there. You know what I mean? Yeah, we're taking swings. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah, like, take a swing. Yeah, so are we, for sure. Yeah, yeah, but I feel like, but we're just coming, like, you're putting a lot of work into oh, it, right, and right, you're perfecting right. your swings. We're literally just off, like, I think yeah. this is funny, I'm going to say it, yeah. and your audience is whoever's next to you, and if they don't I mean, like it. We we certainly sucked for years. You got to. It was, yeah. it was like, 
brutal lifestyle, also working as hard as you can and just being fucking terrible. Yeah. Yeah. It's the only way. And then, like, as soon as you are not the worst, it feels great. And then, you know, it's just a long road ahead regardless. And making, like, flavor combinations that that end up tasting terrible. I'm sure that happens at some point. Of course. Of course. (laughs) Um, Yeah. 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 No, I mean, you're just – there's every single person that that has – that has done this for a long time, like they will tell you that it you, you're just terrible. Like there's yeah. no way that you start and you're like, oh, I'm really good. Like no, for sure. You you're should see me. I mean, chopping anything, anything I ah. cut just looks like it was done by like an epileptic child. Thank God you're not a moil. Hey, you know who else Won't takes some swings? <laughs> <laughs> you know who else you, takes some swings? Chris Brown. All right. Well, I mean, and I'll see you guys in what, hell. Is that? <laughs> Is he is he into the lifestyle? Is that what you mean by I'm not, I'm, I know exactly what you're talking. <laughs> it's an old reference. I gotta, I gotta get a little, a little more dated. How about that? How about that, Ricky Martin? Huh? Hey, I do. Do you? What do you think? I'll say Ricky Martin was accused of uh, of doing a lot of dirty things with his cousin, with, with his nephew, 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 with his nephew. And uh, it turns out that the nephew, like, has his own sort of, like, mental health stuff, right? Oh. So, uh, and had, like, other lawsuits going at other Have people. Like, it yeah. just seemed like he was in a manic, litigious phase, period. But uh, apparently he was, the, the kid was saying that Ricky Martin not only fucked him, but was, like, uh, sort of stalking him. Ah. Right, that there was like made, a, made him listen to his new album. <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> he bangs. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, I'm just putting that out into the universe. What do you think of that? Well, if you're talking incest, I am from Louisiana. <laughs> but the best part about incest, incest is uh, you've already met the parents. Okay. Uh, do you know right. what? Do you know what I love I about you? Everything. You. Do you know what? <laughs> oh, yeah. Boy. What is the best part about incest? Do you know what it is? I love naughty sex. Yeah, that's what it Am is. Am I the only one who loves it naughty? No. Have no. you ever fucked a person in the clergy? Okay. A little boy. I mean, wild swing. <laughs> ah! <laughs> I have two ministers. Whoa. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Wow, that's, well done. that's very, that's Thank very you very commendable. Much. Good for yeah. you. Yeah. Broke them. Wow. <laughs> Good Broke for you, em. man. <laughs> <laughs> But the yeah, what did you right do with there. your 20s? <laughs> uh, I'm still, I'm, I'm 28, so... God damn oh. you, Raph. I'm not done with, with my horrendous youth. Yeah. I'm, Good I'm, for I'm you. I'm very excited to see there, what the next There's a priest years. in your future. Oh, 100%. Wait a second, 100%. Chef Raph, do you have, is that, look at you, you have, uh, you have merch on your head. I do, I wasn't able to get a haircut, and I left my hair product in Vegas... And I woke up really late. But it's your Instagram handle, Chef Raph it, it is. It is my hat. That's it a is smart my fucking thing yeah, to do. Guy. Listen. Yeah, man, we're uh, we're doing merch now. What do you? How do you? Yeah. How do you feel about like self promotion and merchy? You gotta do it. What are you selling? Do it up. Yeah. What oh, you other selling? other than uh, your whiskey. Yeah, what you are you selling? Bodega Cat oh, whiskey, whiskey, whiskey is coming out. It's, it's coming whiskey? out. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Much like what is it called? It's called Bodega Cat. That's super smart. Yeah, like the cat. You know, it sits on the bread. No! Yeah, that's what it's named after. Is, is that, that the is that the logo? Is yeah, it sitting on bread. Yeah, exactly. I love it. All right, when when you make merch, please please allow us to get it. That's of course, amazing. of course. That's, that's amazing. I'd okay. love for you to get it. So it'll be on my uh, website. He's selling it. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh dude, we can do a trade or whatever. Oh, Ooh. we'll give you a bottle for sure. Just keep Wait. the pasta coming. Is, Seriously, is, uh, look at you. You got to, got almost done with your I'm second. Not done plate. yet, fatty. I love type. you so much. I can't believe you had two bowls. I love him. Oh yeah, I'm impressed. Yeah, he said, watch me do it. I came here, so I gave blood. I'm not, I didn't, like, give blood. I'm not generous, and also I'm gay, and my blood is pollute. But uh, they... <laughs> do you know what I mean? It's, like, literally full of, like... There's cum in my blood. East River. Right? Like, people just literally come in my open veins. <laughs> so, um... Guilty. So, <laughs> but they were testing my blood for a range of things, and I went... They took eight vials of blood, and I've never... Wow. I've never given that much blood, and I went straight to the gym, where I get trained by an Olympic lifter. And I came here, like, I'm eating this. I'm not just, like, casually enjoying it. I'm also eating it. And he was like, watch me. I mean, he's like, You're, I'm going to scare you with how I eat this. I can eat. And then look at him. Fuck he's it. actually done it. Yeah, you're, doing, you're doing major work over there. Mm. Oh, thank you. Mm. Also, it's also, like, super casual. You know, like, pe- people that eat a lot of food is usually gross. Mm-hmm. Like, you're just sitting there, like, politely. Just, oh, oh. Let, me, let me have another noodle. Thank you. I appreciate that. It you really just don't is. stop. Yeah. Uh, Montreal's this week. Mm. Why, why don't you go? I've done it. I'd rather go make some money. Yeah. Make money, Mark. Yeah. I don't even. I'm Makes done sense. with the festivals. I don't really get it. You know, the festival is to find a manager or an agent or get discovered. Who needs it? 
I don't think I don't I think, think Montreal I think the will ever happen. Are dying. So, oh, so you really? Not after what I did. What'd you do? <laughs> what did you do? So, so you don't get paid at all at festivals? Oh, no, not really. oh I That's forgot. Like big guy too, like a famous guy. <laughs> right. But uh, guys like us, they're just like, yeah, come out there. We'll give you a thousand bucks. We'll put you up. Yeah. And it's fun. You get drunk. You hang out with comics, and that's great. But you can make a ton on the road. Right. Right. You smarty pants. What, yeah. are, you, you guys... what are you saving for? I don't know. I are you up... are you Leno minded? Where he was like, yes. I'm always yeah. I have Leno's Len, Jay Leno always said that like. He was afraid that he would one day, like, everything would dry up and he would be poor again. So he apparently, the the rumor I had heard was that he didn't spend a cent of what he made on television. He only spent what he made on the road. On the road. Yeah. Right? That's true. Wow. That's smart. Right? So, but I, do, you, do you have that fear that, like, oh, yeah. that the money he will just... Oh, yeah. Dane Cook, he's the biggest guy on the planet, and yeah, now where is it? He's waiting here. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, I feel like it could be one more... Cleveland fucking morning show, uh, and you know, yeah, <laughs> that'll be it, man. Mm. Yeah, look at Louis; he was the king. Yeah, I mean, well, both I mean, those guys, uh, they still have money. They still, the, yeah. I mean, like, none Dane of them. doesn't have the money he had because his his brother took it all. His but, brother, yeah, he got uh, fucked. How did that happen? Uh, lube. And oh, right, uh, no, right. no, his brother. Uh, it, it, it was like fake investment. Just to let his brother handle the books. Yeah. That's. <laughs> I mean, my thank you for NFT. I mean, my brother kind of does take care of that for for us so keep an eye on your brother please, hooker. please don't fuck us i know, I know you're in vegas right now yeah, relax right. <laughs> your brother's in vegas and yeah. he's handling your books yeah he stayed oh, in vegas man. uh we all, we all have access to the company card so okay it's the way of the road it's the way of the road at least he's having fun it's fine yeah no it, it's it's also different like i think it's a it's a different game like dane cook he he skyrocketed right yeah. like very Huge. quickly. Tourgasm, HBO contracts, Tourgasm. like rom coms. Yeah, I mean, yeah. It, it looked like he never even had a chance to take a shower before going on stage. Like, <laughs> I, Barbie, you know, yeah. I call his brand of comedy dick dangling, and like yeah. I think that like it is entirely predicated on like a, the, a homoeroticism that's like that's mm. in constant suggestion. That's how I that absolutely like if he wasn't. Uh, low key seducing frat boys, he would have nothing. He would have Whoa. nothing at all. He would have nothing at all. Alleged, I allegedly. Ah, no, <laughs> it's a for sure. Dane Cook was dick dangling for frat guys who were like, oh, no, I don't love you. I just Dane Cook. I would for Dane Cook. <laughs> like, do you know what I mean? <laughs> it's that. It's that. Huh. I'm conflicted because like, I'm a carrot top man. <laughs> ah! <That's> <laughs> I'm a carrot bottom. Uh, <laughs> <All right>. so. <laughs> Sorry, what was that? A vegan comedian with the carrot top. But um, uh -huh. Dane Cook, it's like, was my introduction to like stand up along with George Carlin. Mm. So like, mm. Dane Cook like got me into like following stand up comedians. And oh, then George wow. Carlin kind of showed me like how far it can actually go. Right. You know, like Dane Cook was everywhere. So it's like the access point. Mm. And then you're like, oh my God, this is amazing. And then you check out George Carlin. You're like, Oh, okay. This is a philosopher. Okay, yeah. great. And then, and then there's all the in betweens, and then it, it just went from there. So I always got to like, you know, be a little humble and be like, "Thank you, Dan Cook, for introducing." Oh, me. I wasn't. I've never been a cunt about Dan Cook. He had a bit that was called uh, "I Did My Best," hmm. that was like <laughs> that, that about getting like the the weeps, like getting really weepy, getting like crying fits. And like how you just like once you start crying, you start rehearsing, like you repeat a line to yourself, like I did my best. No, I did my best. And then you just keep crying. And then you call your mother and like yeah. and you're like, okay, mom, I'm having a day. And she's like, Well, you did your best. I did my best. And like it's such a good bit. It's such yeah. a good bit. He was a good comic. Yeah. He just became a punchline. Yeah. You're cool to Who's, hate. Who do you who would you pay to see? Ooh, good question. Well, Cosby would be interesting. Wild. Mm. Aren't you wild? I don't sleep well. But, um, <laughs> no, I don't know. Let's see. Uh, I just saw Sebastian, and I'm not a big Sebastian guy, uh -huh. but I went and saw him at the Garden, and it was amazing. Uh -huh. It was, like, blew me away. And it's not, like, my cup of jizz, but I, I got it. I was laughing. I get it now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have you d have you ever heard the thing, uh, play arenas like they're small rooms and play small rooms like they're arenas? Have you, oh, have you ever I heard that? I that. That's good. How did, it fit, what, how did that I was in the back row them? in a box with Sal Volcano, and uh, we were howling and having a good time drinking that. beers. Yeah, I it was fun. I love that. Rosebud, I, yeah, no, I've, I've, uh, I've opened for him a couple of times. He's doing, like, he's really? funny. He's doing, like, a slow dice. Mm -hmm. I, yeah, when he was at Gotham. yeah, yeah, slow dice. When he was at Gotham oh, is when I opened right. for him. But, uh, yeah. yeah, no, he's good. He's good. He's funny. Um... 
Mulaney's new hours seems to be pretty fun. Who's? Mulaney, because he went okay. to rehab. That's right. And now he's talking about it. Okay. And he was the buttoned up, clean cut, cute guy. Yeah. And now he's a fucking animal. With like a doing low blow. key, yeah. <laughs> you know, fucking Olivia Munn. So he's a different comic. So I wouldn't mind seeing that hour. Mm. <laughs> uh, that's a turn. Yeah. Damn. Big turn. I really hope to be there one day. <laughs> what? On the other side of, of fucking Olivia Munn on Coke? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that sounds pretty good. I would hate it. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. Well, there's obviously in, there there is a Olivia Munn for you. Is there has an Olivia Munn for me? Mm. Do you, you know what that I mean? Is? That that feels like my children's book. <laughs> <laughs> an Olivia, Munn. it's who who is my Olivia Munn? Are we talking Ricky Martin again? Nah. Uh, I mean, I, he's he's gorgeous and everything. He's a handsome. Uh, you know, I think the, like if I were to just have a one-off sexually, it would be based on like how fucking psychotic they are. Do you oh, know what I mean? Oh, yeah, Rasputin. Like, it's not that. enough Rasputin. for them to be beautiful. It's not enough for them to be pretty. I, I need that Rasputin. 14-inch dong. Yeah. Bro, have you seen it? I have. Yeah. It's on my wall. No, they. it's in an Icelandic museum, <laughs> so, Rasputin's so, dick. Yeah. It's Wait, forever. Serious? Yeah. Wow. Oh, yeah, it's in a jar. Huge. Thick. Look it up. Rasputin. It's online. I'll pull it up for you. I'm definitely going to. It's in, it's in glass. Mean, the Russians are never known for lying. <laughs> <laughs> No, who would it be? Who who do you have one? I'm like just curious, like a celebrity. Celebrity crush doesn't necessarily appeal to me because it's a little too polished for me. It's like, uh-huh. do you know what I mean? It's like some weird guy who's like in gym shorts and like a piece of his nuts are out on the yeah. fucking three train. Oh, that's hot. Do you know what I mean? Like yes. a little scrotum, like thinks I don't see it, but I've like written it on my body. Oh uh, yeah, you know what, what I mean? Saying? Are we saying the scrotum is little, or you see a little? You scrotum? just get some bubble gum. Got you. Mm-hmm. Sitting on gum. Yeah. Sitting on gum. Who was the one that said that? What? Nick Gandhi. It was yeah. Gandhi. Yeah. It was yep. Gandhi. Do yep. you see how I'm good he saying. is? Yeah. Are you? Have you been this entire time thinking about the female you'd bang? Because you'd bang. No, no, I, no. The celebrities. I know. The, <laughs> here's, here's the thing, though. When I think about the celebrities, I'm like, they're actresses. It's it's going to be a nightmare. True it's going to be very I unhappy agree. nightmare. I agree. Like, it's, yeah. It, yeah, yeah. How about, but, how about a porn star? Let's. Uh, oh, that's a good one. Oh. Yeah, Peter North. God, but you know, would you know about his gay? What? Oh, Mark Norman! I get to give Mark Norman a porn education. Could you, could you really handle that, though? No, no, right. no. That's a lot of semen. I'm not oh, gonna, I love all that. I'm not gonna ask Mayron. Of course I would. Are you kidding me? He'd fuck Mr. Ed. Right. <laughs> Come on. Hello, man. But uh, <laughs> no, Peter North did a bunch of gay porn. What? It paid exponentially more. Sure. Exponentially sure. more. And uh, and he, uh, he there there's one called the bigger the better, mm. which is a uh, it, it's like a big business with with Bette Midler, except it's about giant dicks. Oh right? wow, that might be the gayest sentence on right. the planet. <laughs> <laughs> and he ta- he gets fucking plowed, yeah. by one of the biggest Whoa. dicks to ever to ever happen oh in God. porn. Period. Really? Ma- like straight. Ga- it's just. Uh, like the piano, like no joke. Right, right, right. That. Wow. And he takes it in the can, Daddy. Wow. <laughs> do you guys do a top bottom sitch, or are you guys uh, all over the They're road? They're not gay, oh, you so. monster. Oh, I thought they were together. No. Oh. You are so weird to think I thought that they they're were... gay. Wait That's a fake gay. Listen, what about oh, what about not rule comedian? Huh? Comedian. What comedian? Comedian. Would you say? Uh, hey, there you go. Pro- yeah, Pro- let's roll. Probably going to say Cosby again. I'm just- <laughs> <laughs> no, you don't have to say Cosby. That's the best part. Um, so <laughs> you just get it. Well, you know who likes jizz is uh, Roseanne. She runs a nut farm. I hate you. Uh, I hate you for that. <laughs> I love him. Uh, who? Comedian. Who? I would say Michelle Wolf for the pillow talk. <laughs> eh. no, I love her so. You know I love. I know her, you do. Right? You love That's her. Like my everything. Um, male comedians, female comedians. It's weird because you guys really can't say that, right? Yeah. Because when guys say something like that, yep. it's it's like it just the, apparently you know what I mean. Like it yeah. casts a pall. I can talk about all the guys I want to bang that are comedians. Uh. You've ne- you would never bet if if there were a dick in your face, you would laugh. Do you know what I mean? Where I like I would commune right now, with my God. Do you know what I mean? It's just two very different things. So, I love it. 
Yeah. So is that a thing? Because like we certainly find chefs very sexy. I mean, you're you're like working with them, you know, watching them in their element, mm. and then immediately after work, they're so hot. Like they're wearing whites at work. So, you know, whatever. Uh, and then they're wearing like the tight jeans, whatever. You're like fuck, she's beautiful. Yeah. Is really? That, does that carry over in a uh, comedy? <sighs> no. I mean, I guess they're wearing regular clothes. So yeah, the whole it's time. It's just something that's so hot about you see a woman and like she's not like bad looking, but then you see her in her street clothes. That is hot. Like, wow. I used to be obsessed with Gullman, like 15 years ago. Really? Like yeah. 100. Yeah, he's Boston, sure. Boston. He's right? a college athlete. Why not? Yeah, and yeah. look, like tall as a tree. Uh-huh. Do you yeah, know what I mean? In great from, shape. Uh, Joker, right? Yeah. He, he, yeah. And he's yeah, one of the best. Cool. Like, he's very, very good at our job. The nickel one, the nickel bit. Yeah. Yeah, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Great writer, uh, Ch- like Chobani, the yogurt bit, the the, uh, it was something about like finding money in his clothes and like yeah, what the, the right is that the bit? The, the Bill so, Gates, yeah, Bill Gates, Bill Gates had the feeling. Yeah. Love that yeah. bit. Like bit. he has made me howl. He has absolutely made me howl. And he's tall as a tree and he's such a handsome, like you know, Jew. well put together Jew yeah. fellow. Clean, you know what I mean? Yeah. Nipples. I did not know hands. That, that that was a thing until recently. That what women like Jewish men? Like, is I'm that right? I did not know. I did not know. <laughs> I didn't know um, that either. I don't like him. Yeah. No! But, uh, no. Right. Ah! Yeah, no, I, I uh, like, recently was was told that being a Jewish man was sexy. It's oh. Like, you are incorrect. Oh, ah! Garden Schwartz. Garden Schwartz. But, uh, yeah, he's it. a hunk, too. Hunk. It's like, oh, man, the fucking hair that goes <laughs> down. Oh, it's beautiful. <laughs> the weird suits and the crazy hats. They don't all have oh, and their and, and their money. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that is oh, very... Oh, not all Jews is. are rich. That's that's what it is. You know what I mean? I mean, it's they're, true. They're I, good at contracts. I can attest to that. <laughs> Jew? I'm Jewish. There you you're go. You're Jewish. I am. He's I am. pretty. You're pretty in that way. Yeah. I, I, but here's All the right. thing. But it's exactly that. You can't just tell someone that you're going to work with all the time that you, like, find them uh, magnetic. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Mm. That's, that's an unfair burden to put on the other person. Given that you have to, like, I'm going to see this person next week, and I can't just constantly make him feel predated I, upon. I cannot wait. To do you know what I mean? <laughs> but what do you see? What do you see? I have like stirrups. Oh, yeah. do you know what I mean? Baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah I, don't know. I can't, I can't think for comedy, speculum. but I mean, would, would you would you ever uh, marry a comedian? Ooh, mm. yeah, I think so. What does your fiance do? Sales, kind of boring shit. We, but. I think it needs to kind of be. Two different sides of the tracks. I yeah, think yeah. people yeah. do it. Tom huh? Cotter and uh, Carrie Louise. Sure. Rich Voss. I was gonna say Voss. Voss Joe List. And, yeah. Joe yeah. List. Joe List. Hannigan Tom Segura and Becky too. Right? Um, Segura. Yeah. What did yeah. you just say? Hannigan and Becky Young. Oh, all right. I thought you said uh, uh, Hannah Burner and Des. Yeah. Hannah Burner and Des. Uh, Alex Edelman and uh, the Hacks yeah. girl. Why can't I think of her I name? I know who you're talking about. I mean, we were we were talking about like a couple episodes ago how it's like really tough to date somebody that's not. That doesn't like work the same hours that you work. Mm-hmm. You know, like for us to date like a woman that works from nine to five, it's like we're That's sometimes impossible. sleeping at that time. Sure, you know, like we we are weird in the sense that we like to work through the night. Just yeah, it's you know same kind of like a vampire situation. Yeah, um, it's also sexy too. Vampires. Yeah, um, vampires are sexy, so you do right. like LA. I I am a Jewish. <laughs> I am a Jewish yeah. vampire. I think it's fir- first of all time. Oh so, wow! Yeah, really. Yes. Oh, yeah? That blood better be kosher. Seriously. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> I want to keep your blood away from the milk. Wild. Yeah, we've wild. We've truly gone down a rabbit hole. No, no, no. But like yeah. at the end of the day, you do, anybody who does, anyone who has ambition has to ultimately couple with someone who accommodates that ambition or yeah. it's not going to work, true, period. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, like, I, I could not agree more. Especially if it's like an odd hours ambitious gig. You right. Know what I mean? Uh, weekends, I, I now don't work weekends. My husband, he works like a, literally seven in the morning until midnight. Wow. wow. All the fucking time. He just keeps taking contracts. God bless him. Mm. But like, uh, so, but Friday and Saturday nights are his only night off. Oh. Or his only night off. sucks for you. No, I'm fine with it. Oh, okay. Fine. You take it off. Fine. Amateur hour? No, thank you. Right. Amateur, like I find weekends to be amateur night. Good point. I want nothing to do with them. Love working Monday through, you know what I mean? <laughs> I like, hear you. Sunday through Thursday, love it. Yeah. Love it. There you go. But still, it do, but it doesn't necessarily, you have to, but if that, if that wiggle room, if that accommodation, if that uh, adjustment isn't there, uh, I don't know how, how the dudes do it, but with gals, they're like, it's so sexy, you're a comedian, I love that you're a comedian, and then two weeks into dating them, they're like, again? You're going up? 
You get on stage, you're like, yes, that's what I do, whore. Yeah. What are yeah. we doing here? <laughs> you know that. You like that about me. And then when I go to work, they're like, oh, well, what they, about dinner? What about the party? I think everybody wants to write, like, cuff someone. Well, they like you on stage. You're commanding a room, and you're you're very uh, like, uh, uh, commanding. You're, you know, know. killing. And then, and then they see you oh, eating oh, off a plate oh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> that isn't yours, and they're like, what are you doing? Yeah. Right? And it's that thing, it kind of circles back to what we were talking about earlier. It's like once they like you, you want to keep them liking you. You know what I mean? Yeah, oh, yeah. What they liked about you was the fact what, that you were willing to do so things. So I heard this, I used to hear this from the older comedians never let them see you bomb. You got that right. Really? Never. I mean, they it's a will. flaccid dick. You know? You don't want to show up that flaccid. Mine's no picnic. <laughs> <laughs> I got an acorn sitting on a bush There's over here. There's no way that's true. You're so lean. I'm decent hard, but flaccid, it's a no, nightmare. Mine is absolutely, it's a button on a fur coat. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> I got a scared turtle. That's my boy. <laughs> I just um, always use the, uh, the casino reference for relationships. Let's plug some stuff and, and not keep Mark here all day. Plug Wait, I want to hear this, uh, s- this yeah. casino oh, quote. It's like with like all the mix- mismatching of like personalities or like does she work a 9 to 5? Does he work a 9 to 5? It's like in casino he just goes like you got to trust them absolutely or why do it at all. And that's mm-hmm. like just make sure they're not Sharon Stone at their peak and they're ah. going to outrun you. No, and absolutely. Right. That's yeah. absolutely right. No, it, yeah, and trust is basically everything. Yeah, that's really. Keys, and that's it. And then you, you trust right your, into the desert. Oh, yeah. You trust your broad? Oh yeah. She yeah, trusts she's you. She's in a wheelchair. I mean, it's that pretty. Uh, she can't, she can't get anywhere. She gonna yeah, go? put a broomstick Honest. in the wheel. You know. <laughs> it's called leverage. Yeah, <laughs> business <Literally>. dynamic. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, don't get me started on stairs. <sighs> but yeah. I'm sorry, no, that uh, really, it's because I'm hot. I have the pasta sweats right now. <laughs> yeah, same, same. I got a turtle head cooking. That's my boy. Because right? oh, yeah. you pushed it out. You ate so much. I know, I'm in pain. Like, you ate more than one digestive tract can, Dude, can that, accommodate. That, that seriously was a lot of food. Thank I, you. Finally, 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 there was a guest that took the show they seriously. They ate everything. Hell yeah. Ate, ate the food properly, and, you know, I'm so happy to have you, man. Hey, I'm having a, it's an honor. The food was delicious, and uh, thanks for making it. You're the of most course. wonderful person, Mark. What are oh, we, are, do we have to promote anything? Nah. Your stuff, you want the new podcast, your podcast, you want to play sure. any of that stuff? We might be drunk, Tuesday stories all over the road. Check out my special on YouTube, Out to Lunch. And we're out to lunch. And uh, thanks for having me, Queefs. You're the best. You hey, I'm Come Kevin Hart. On. Praise Allah. Oh, uh, but I, um, I'm on all the gay hookup sites. I uh, Sometimes just on the street. Do you know what I mean? Trousers sure. on, trousers off. One sock, two socks. Do you have a favorite subway stop you like to hook up at? Or? Uh, I, Delancey. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because it's a bit, it's yeah. a long, it's, it's, a, it's four wow. lanes you have to cross to get away from me. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> now, is there some gay code that you could share with us that we don't know about? Like yeah, a tap yeah. on the floor? The, the, the or one a... fanning himself with an industrial-sized <laughs> fan is a faggot. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, I think, all right. I think Confucius said there that. There it is. Yeah, it yeah. was. Yeah. Nietzschean. <laughs> so, so, yeah, we, are, uh, we, we started officially Something Good Hospitality. Um, we are a- actually going to cook for Mark next week. He... Also does not know that yet. Oh, shit. Um, but yeah, so Something Good Hospitality, we are doing a bunch of events coming up. You can see them on our Instagram, somethinggood.nyc. And on mine, Chef Raff, NYC, Instagram as well. Um, yeah, we are trying to take over the fucking world. So Hell yeah. Let's do it, man. Uh, this is the Cheat Day Show. Go ahead, bud. Yeah, yeah. And then Owen Lockwell on Instagram, and I'm part of Something Good Hospitality as well. And I agree. Take over. I want to nice. hear more about the Super- secret event. Yeah, I don't know. The secret event, yeah. So it's going to be in Cleveland. Um, <laughs> it is. Morning show. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's going to be a morning show. Uh, we're just going to continue to throw food at you, yeah. please, and then you will be commenting it. on it. Just going to hire know. heavy set women to queef into yeah. custards. Exactly. Oh. Different and custards. We'll be <laughs> definitely be consulting with Mayron. All on right. The type of food that is the most sexual, I'm going to say. Okay. And, yeah. Pops. Bring it on. Maybe we'll do a pop-up in uh, Delancey Street. Pop, so yeah. pop up. Pop up. Pop yeah. on up. Amazing. Pop on up. Uh, this is The all Cheat right. Day Show. You can find us at <laughs> The Cheat Day Show on all platforms. TheCheatDayShow.com. Uh, I'm Ryan Reese, our, our comedy on Instagram. Cheat well, everybody. Thanks for joining us. Bye. Hey. hey. All right. Oh. What an app. What an app. Why? My knees. A lot of laughs. Thanks for listening to the Cheat Day Show podcast. To learn more about our show, the hosts, the comedians, our guests, our chefs, and more, 
visit our website, thecheatdayshow.com. Also, follow along with us on our social media, at The Cheat Day Show, on Instagram and Twitter. Future episodes can be found in all the places you get your favorite podcast. Our show is also sponsored by the world-famous Comedy Cellar on McDougal Street in New York City's Greenwich Village. Visit ComedyCellar.com for show lineups happening seven days a week. Later, cheaters. Cheaters.